One, two, three. Reporting live from Tita Cheese Basement. Live from last week, episode 64. Let's go! Welcome you, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this afternoon, I'm just here at Scarborough Town Center, dropping off the wife at the movie theaters here, because she's gone off with a co-worker to see the new Batman movie. And hopefully, once this YouTube episode is released, my cousin, Lou's Reviews, will post a review of that Batman movie somewhere up here on YouTube. But if you guys don't see it there, I'll post the link in the description below. But yeah, before I make my way home to take a pre-night shift nap, because I'm going in for a single night shift tonight, we just have a quick birthday greeting to my father-in-law, my Tito Jan. Happy birthday, Tito. I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I can't wait till this weekend to celebrate your birthday with you as well. So after thinking about how crazy gas prices are at this time, I've been looking into alternatives on how to travel in Toronto. So after taking almost 10 months off, we're gonna see if my baby Rouge is able to start right back up again. So yeah, wish me luck, cause the last time I tried to start her up in the summer, we had difficulties getting her going. All right, let's see if this baby works. So after a couple of minutes of trying to turn my motorcycle over and not getting it to work, we eventually called for a tow truck and got CAA to come pick her up. Then we brought my motorcycle to my mechanic. Jimmy poo! Poo 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 poo! Poo 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 poo! My buddy's Cam's place to leave her over there so that he can see what's wrong with her, hang out and catch up with my buddy Cam, and also spending some quality time with his cute little guinea pigs. But yeah, do you guys remember these scenes from a live from last week episode last year? An hour before I got here, my cousin's wife gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Welcome to the world, Lena Malin. Well, earlier we went to visit my cousin at 102. We put on our birthday party hats so we could say hi to him and my niece because today was my niece's first birthday. Lena, one years old. Lena, one years old. Uh, Lena, open your foot. Hey, it's the same balloon. Balloon <laughs> twinsies. It's the same balloon. We also had the privilege of getting to see my nephew read out the birthday card that we got for my niece. This is the card for Lena that Tito J and Tito Janelle got. Are you ready? Little. One year old. You. Very good. Whoa, you know. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, that's for Lena though. Lena? Yeah. Lena. Who's number one? Who's number one? I'm number one. She's number one. She's number one. Good job. High five. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Cheese. Lena. Lena. And after we were done doing our birthday greetings, we went to 52 to surprise our Tito and check out some of the renovations that they've got going on there. Oh. This is the first time I've seen this living room without the dining table. <laughs> <laughs> we also then did a surprise visit to my cousin Faye and got a quick tour of the new renovations that they did in the basement of 52. Oh, you, you, you close uh... I did. <laughs> now I can't get out okay. or get in. Thank you. This is the door. There you go. Let's get the door is locked. <laughs> okay, stay there. Hello? Come in. <laughs>
After hanging out with Faye and Justin for a bit, the wife and I decided to go to a local convenience store and check out one of my Lotto Max tickets. Is it scanning? Yeah! I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Winner! Uh, do you have those big checks? <laughs> yeah, the big <laughs> and since I won something on this special day, getting three numbers plus a bonus number on my lotto ticket, we decided to celebrate my niece's birthday and get a sushi party tray from one of our favorite local restaurants here, Sushi and Tea. And guys, judging by these videos, you already know that this sushi for dinner was pretty good. Anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, I just have a birthday greeting, actually a belated birthday greeting to one of my cousins, who you guys know will always be four years old to us. This is a belated birthday greeting to Mokmar. Happy belated birthday, buddy. And of course, another birthday greeting to my niece, Lena. Happy first birthday, Lena. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So this morning, after waking up early to drive the wife to work for her day shift and enjoying my granola bar breakfast in the car, I realized that while we were driving, I looked up at the clock on the clock tower at Toronto's Old City Hall and noticed that the clock stood still and was not working. So I'm wondering how long it will take for the city of Toronto to fix that clock. And I'll keep you guys posted if and when this clock will ever get fixed in the future. But moving on, I don't know if you guys realized, but I've saved the screenshot on my phone of a post that is meant for today only. And March 10th, if you guys didn't know, is Super Mario Day. And in honor of this, I'm wearing my red hat and of course, my Super Mario shirt. March 10th, M-A-R-1-0, M-A-R-I-O, Super Mario Day. As well, I'll be doing a couple of exercises that make me feel as fit as Super Mario. But yeah, moving on, before I go in for work for my first of my two night shifts tonight, I just want to let all you skiers and snowboarders know out there that if you're interested, Blue Mountain is now selling their 5x7 passes. I mean like at an affordable and early bird price from now until April 21st. Next winter, you can ski or snowboard for seven nights of the week, as well as Monday to Friday during the day. So I'm just about to hop online to get one for me and the wife so that I could do more snowboarding videos for you guys next winter. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'm hoping that you guys will have an amazing rest of your Super Mario day. So. Earlier today, after getting one of my most best post-night shift naps in, I was thinking about something that I wanted to ask you guys about. At night, while commuting to work, I saw that there were still a couple of houses that had their Christmas lights on. And by the way, in case you guys didn't know, right now, we're in the month of March. A good two and a half months out of the Christmas season. But yeah, just want to pose a question to you guys out there. When do you guys think it's appropriate to finally take down your Christmas lights? I mean, I don't see a problem with it, as long as the weather is like it is today, where there is still beautiful snow coming down from the skies. But yeah, like I said, I don't know about you guys, but feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. Moving on, this afternoon, after I took my post-night trip nap, I actually had a nice video chat, actually catching up with both of my parents and my baby sister. But anyways, I'm about to go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, and before I do, I just have a quick birthday greeting. And this birthday shout out goes out to one of my groomsmen from my wedding and the host of one of your favorite YouTube channels, Lou's Reviews. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Louie. Happy birthday, Louie. Anyways, Lou, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I can't wait to celebrate with you your birthday sometime in the near future. So guys, this morning after my night shift, I got to do a quick mini carpool with this new combination of my co-workers. This is the first time we have this combo. Kennedy, Hi. Melissa, and Josie. Yay! Then afterwards, after taking a two to three hour post-night shift nap, 
I looked in on Facebook Marketplace to do some research to see if I can get a set of skis for the wife. But the only thing is, when we went out to try to try on some of these skis, although the wife was interested in getting a pair, none of them fit her feet quite like she wanted. So today, we didn't get a chance to buy some new skis for her. Also, we figured out that since we were in the Mississauga area, we decided to go to this Saturday Vigil Mass at the local Crystal Ray. And after attending Mass at this beautiful church they have here, the wife and I went to the local restaurant, Foodie North, to spend some time with her family and go out for a birthday dinner. And after having all that delicious Chinese food for dinner, we made our way back to the Saga family's place and comparing it to previous weeks on how it looked like. Nice! Cool! Mm, very nice, We checked out the new renovation updates of the kitchen. Okay. What is this? The fridge is here. Sink is here. Stove is here. Does this one work, Tito? Yeah, it's working now. I make it work. Right? Wait, in the pie, it's working. And shared some birthday cake for the birthday celebrants of this week. Okay, one, two, three, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. Say your wishes. Oh, wishes. Oh, okay. He doesn't yeah. want to wish on you. Oh, no, 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 no. Yay! 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 And so, before we wrap it up for this cold, wintry March night, we have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that I went to dance school with back in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. The next birthday greeting we have for today is for one of the birthday celebrants that we uh, actually celebrated the birthday with today. Who's actually a really good family friend of mine now. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kuya John. Happy birthday, Kuya John. And last but not least, we have a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers. Of whom, back in November, I celebrated their engagement party with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. I'm hoping that all you birthday celebrants that are celebrating their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays as well. So tonight we are back in Scarborough, but not after last night staying over in Saga and catching the Disney flick Turning Red, which I can actually say is one of my favorite movies. And I think it has a little bit to do with the fact that it is set in my hometown of Toronto. Featuring historic landmarks such as the Sky Dome and the CN Tower, Toronto's Chinatown, as well as the main character riding the traditional TTC streetcar. So, if you guys haven't checked out that movie on Disney Plus yet, I would personally give it a 5 star rating out of 5 and recommend you guys to definitely go check it out. But on to today, while I saw my family of in-laws try to clean the family's fish tank, I first decided to observe what was going on, then after a while, get my hands wet and dirty, learn a new skill, and help them clean the fish tank. And I'm betting you that the pet fish over there is now enjoying swimming in their fresh batch of new water. But yeah, after I was done helping clean out the fish tank this afternoon, 
I started browsing again on Facebook Marketplace, saw another ad that the wife can try for a new ski set, and made our way back through the beaches in order to check out this new ski set that I was thinking about buying for the wife. And while in the process of letting the wife try out these ski boots, I introduced myself to this pup that they had over there, a half poodle, half Labrador mix. But staying on track for now, after trying on their third pair of ski boots in less than 24 hours, unfortunately, we had the same result as yesterday. Yet again, we didn't buy the ski set because the wife said that the ski boots were too tight on her and still felt uncomfortable. And well, there goes that idea of spontaneously going up to Blue Mountain tomorrow. So you guys will have to wait until tomorrow to see what we actually have planned. So today is March 14th, AKA 3.14 also known as Pi Day. And in honor of this day, we're at the shops at Don Mills, about to go to a pizza restaurant store, and yeah, take advantage of a low price for pizza for only $3.14. before it gets cold. Got our pies for pie day. So after coming home and eating up that delicious pizza pie for pie day, we decided to start up a new tradition and try to go through all of the American Pie movies. So this afternoon, the wife and I started off with the original American Pie movie, then continued on in the evening with American Pie 2, all the way to the present tonight, where we're watching American Pie 3, American Wedding. But yeah, hopefully later on, we'll be able to stay up and watch American Pie 4, the American Pie reunion, then head to bed to wrap up 2022's version of Pie Day. But before we go and wrap it up for the week, I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested, the Red Cross is actually doing a fundraiser for the people of Ukraine. And if you haven't heard, the Canadian government plans to match dollar for dollar before March 18th or on Friday if you're watching and this episode comes out, all the donations that the Red Cross receives in support for the relief of the people affected by war in Ukraine. So yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I already did my part and donated some money earlier this morning and I'm appealing if you're able to, you guys can do the same thing too. So yeah, anyways guys, that wraps up another busy week of Live From Last Week. And if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.